I try to think about this room as the dream room, you know, the places where we dream and where we bring some of those dreams to life. You know, I feel very blessed that I've been able to spend the last 31 years of my life doing it my way, you know, thinking of things that are interesting to me and then pursuing them. There are a lot of different artists that come here to work mostly people who are doing aerial work, so kindred spirits, so to speak. And you can see here's a circus company, Sweet Can Productions, that I've been fortunate to be working with for the last couple of years. I use elements of dance and choreography, and I combine that with theater techniques. You know, a lot of the work is very content-based. It has a strong narrative. So the dances have more of a theatrical feel. I think that we're best known for our site-specific work. Also, you know, in the last 15 years or a little bit more, I've been sp spending a lot of time focusing on issues that um, affect or, and are related to the African-American experience here in the United States. I had heard, of course, of Marcus Shelby and had in, been enjoying his work over the years, but had never had the opportunity to meet him. We were brought together by the Equal Justice Society um, specifically for this project, and we were charged with making, you know, or beginning a work. Marcus and I spent a lot of time kind of addressing our own position on the death penalty, our experiences with people who have been incarcerated or family members or friends of friends and kind of kind of pooling our our information. Beyond that, of course, we both we went off and did quite a bit of research on our own to try to create a picture that resonated with humanity. G four nine two six eight one. It's a shape of a house and in this context it's it's also small and, and acts like a cell. And so I thought that there was an interesting kind of play on, on how these people make these adjustments, you know, create, have to create home, and what is home for these people? The home is the cell. People talk a lot about noise. You know, it's very noisy in prison. So, so that was interesting to me, you know, looking at the communication level and, and, and also the rise of frustration of being caged, you know, kind of wondering, you know, where does redemption fit into the whole equation here? Both of us really believe that um, the death penalty is wrong and that, you know, it's flawed for, for many reasons. You know, it's as, you know, list is you know, as long as my arm and about several others. Um, and uh, so I think that this, is, we feel that it's important for both of us personally to participate in, um, in the debate of this issue in a way that we can help people frame it, you know, for, for com a conversation. And I know.